Gary Clark. I'm the vice president over sales here. Uh, and we've been here in Italy, Texas for a long time. We've been building domes all around the world. We've built in 49 states and 52 foreign countries. Uh, and we really do have a passion to help house people and get housing that is safe and uh, durable. And when we go with the monolithic dome, it's very, very energy efficient, much more energy efficient than anything else that's available today. We build uh, monolithic domes, but primarily the eco shell buildings using the quick shot sprayer. Uh, a lot of that information, everything that I'm showing you now, is on, available on our website at monolithic.com. And what do we do? Well, we build monolithic domes and we build what we call eco shells. The eco shell is a special type of building that we're planning on using in developing nations. What we do is we'll take an, an air form or a balloon, if you will, it's the shape of the dome. We attach it to a concrete and we inflate it. After we inflate it, we will then cover the entire building with a single layer or two layers of a thin uh, stucco or mortar mix, or we call it shotcrete. After we've covered it with just maybe a half an inch to three quarters of an inch, we'll then line it with rebar reinforcing materials. After that's then, we, we then spray it again with the same machine until it's uh, embedded. And we will have here a thickness anywhere of an inch and a half to two inches thick. And this is, makes a fantastic shelter. The exterior surface on a monolithic dome is the fabric or the air form that we inflate. With that fabric there, it's exposed to the sun and everything else that's part of, the, part of our environment. And the sun can be quite harsh, and the fabric is not designed to last forever. But with the use of some special chemicals, some bonding agents, and the quick sprayer, it's uh, the quick shot. You can actually mix some stuff up and spray the exterior coating with the same cementitious material. And here you can see that we've done designs and stained it to give it a different look. So it gives you an idea that we can actually put a cementitious exterior coating on these things to make the building last literally forever. These buildings will withstand winds in excess of 300 mile an hour. Uh, a hurricane means nothing to these buildings. Uh, earthquakes, <laughs> we laugh at earthquakes. And so what we're talking about is a house or a building that can be used by people in any part of the country, any part of the world that is safe and won't uh, come in on them. One last thing that we do uh, or have done is with the use of this handy dandy little machine. You can see here that we've actually created flower beds. These are above the ground flower beds that can be used to decorate or to, uh, to uh, landscape, to direct traffic in certain other areas. Uh, one of the reasons that we did this and came up with this idea is because we work with some folks that work in convalescent centers or rehabilitation centers with people that are confined to wheelchairs. With this type of a configuration, they can actually roll up here with their wheelchair and do gardening on their own and be able to reach everything here. So this is a, just a few of the ideas that we have had with using the quick shot, plus there are many, many more that we, I'm sure that we haven't done.